Good afternoon and welcome to Boundary Park, home of Oldham Rugby League for Halifax Panthers' first competitive game of the season and the start of the defence of the 1895 Cup for the men in blue and white. Let's run through the teams first and foremost with the Panthers. Why we line up, James Woodburn always one at fullback, Dick Zap McCall number three, and Greg Eden making his competitive debut, wears two. Ben Tibbs 17 and Ben Crooks in the centres, wears four. A familiar half back of six Louis Euphray and seven Joe Keys. Front row, 10 Dan Murray, nine Captain Adam O'Brien, and 15 Ryan Lanham making a rare start in the absence of Will Calcott. Back row, again, very familiar, 11, 12, 13, Ben Kavanagh, Matty G and Jacob Fairbank. On the bench of facts, number 20, Tom Inman, number 8, Adam Tangatar, number 31, Kevin Leroyer and number 19, Connor Davis, who makes his second debut for the club. 18th man today is Ollie Davis and, of course, we are coached now in his first competitive game back at his hometown club by Liam Finn. Oldham line up, League One, but with an impressive... Lineup they've got with plenty of Super League and Championship experience. Number one, Logan Astley. Number 23, Jack Johnson. Number three, Jordan Turner. Number 24, Ben O'Keefe. And number five, Moa Goro complete the back line. Number six, Danny Craven. And seven, Jamie Ellis at half back. And then front row of eight, Craig Kopchak. Nine, Matty Wilde. Number 18, Jay Chapelau. And a back row of 11, Joe Wardle. 12, Adam Lawton. And 13, Elijah Taylor. On the bench for the Rough Yeds, number 25, Bailey Aldridge, 16, Owen Farnworth, 22, Ted Chapelau, and number 10, Pat Moran. 18th man for Oldham today is number 14, Jordan Paga. And they are, of course, coached these days by Sean Long. Referee today is Mike Smales, who will look to control the game. First competitive game, defensive 1895 Cup. There will be a minute silence before the game for one of Oldham's great ex players, Colin Orkyard, who was a fantastic player in his day and, personally speaking, was a great influence on my love of rugby league who died very recently. And all our thoughts are with the Hawkyard family at this time. Impeccably observed many silence in tribute to a great man. Here we go. 2024 starts now. Memories of Wembley for the vast majority of those players will weigh high. Looking to make the defence of the title. No doubt Liam Finn will want a great performance from his men, but although it's a group, it's knockout rugby. And no doubt Liam Finn and his charges will want to start the season off with a win. And there'll be Fax who will kick off with Joe Keys left to right. The yards high towards the right hand corner taken by Turner. 
And it'll be Chapao who takes the ball in. Taken down well by Fairbank and Murray. Here's Jordan Turner. This time takes four to stop his progress. Eventually finished off by O'Brien and Lannan. Do it to the blind side. Here's Kopchad, nice little ball there. So Adam Lawton did well, but Joe Keys with a quick play of the ball while he shoots out for Dummy R, finds Elijah Taylor, and Taylor well taken care of there by Lannan as all of them are already past halfway. Wow, they waste. Flat ball there to Kopchak, but well dealt with down low by Fairbank. Helped up out top, up top by G. Last tackle is Craven, puts boot to ball. First test will burn all, he passed as well. That's a great opening set for Oldham. 90 metre set as Halifax look to get out of their own territory as Greg Eden. First touch of the ball is clattered to the ground. Here's Murray. Met by three Oldham defenders and Halifax are really struggling to get out of their own danger area at the moment. O'Brien waits. Goes blind and Eden takes another run of that Oldham defence. Taylor and Wilder put him down just over the 20. O'Brien goes centre field with Fairbank. And Fairbank stopped by four, just shy of the 30. It's the last tackle already. Bit of a slow play of the ball. Referee rules play on as Dufre kicks deep. It's a brilliant kick. It's ended up. That's fantastic. Splits the winger and fullback. And it's Johnson who'll collect the ball just by his try line. Bumps off Dufre, but Lannan there along with G, to put him down just over the 10 metre line, here's Ogoro. Put down just shy of the 20 by Kavanagh. As Alden were at the blind side again. As Ben O'Keefe comes inside, put down by Fairbank on the 20, as Kotchat once more keeps all of it. Just focus on making yards and gets brought down just by the 30. Options left and right for Alden, the goal left and Craven will look to kick early. Eden was waiting for it, the, eventually gets the bouncing ball. Surveys his options, looking to spy a gap in the defence, hands on to Burn all Alifast looks to counter attack, will Burn all tries to brush off the defender. In you know, O'Keefe, a slightly better start to the set from Alifax this time. Here's Eden. Has three men on him but still makes yards in the tackle, put down, five shy of halfway. O'Brien finds Crooks, Crooks runs centre field, but great tackle there by Joe Wardle. As Olifaz continues to go right with Dufre, steps off his right, challenges Wilde, but Wilde stands up to the test well, helped out by two of his teammates as Halifax finally make their way into the Oldham half. O'Brien finds Murray, gets a bit of steam, great yards there from Dan Murray. On the last, inside the 40. Dufray pulls it high towards the corner looking for Eden to chase well taken on that far side by Johnson but great Halifax defence there put him right into the corner and you can hear the travelling support give their approval to that defensive effort as G once more involved with Tibbs on that right edge with McComb sorry as Johnson once more takes the ball up into Halifax defence it's a much better defensive effort here from Fax all them just about out their own tennis. Kopchak trundles the ball up, but Halifax are three men waiting in the shape of Murray, Kavanagh and Fairbank. Here's Ellis, short ball to Lawton. Lawton gets the ball out of the back, but it's a loose ball. A goal rule pick up and Eden will jump on him. Great defensive pressure here from Halifax. It's a last tackle for Oldham. Only 50 metres out for their own line and great pressure there from O'Brien on Craven. Awkward bounce would burn all to deal with, but it's a great result there for Halifax. Would burn all goes centre field looking for a gap, using the footwork at the line. And he gets put down just over halfway. Dufre waits a dummy half, finds G on the short ball, and he'll power it into that defence and finds a 40 metre line. Dufre once more at dummy half, finds McComb, McComb against his former club. Gets brought down just outside the 30. O'Brien finds Lannan. And once more, good yards after contact there from Lannan. 
He's still going, he's still going forward. He's just backing up towards that Oldham line. O'Brien shimmies right and goes left, finds Keys back on the angle to Kavanagh. Kavanagh breaks through, on to Jufre, Jufre holds on. He doesn't hold on, he just knocks the ball on well. Great opportunity there, and it's off his inception in Eden. And Eden is going to score, but the referee is going to rule that there was no advantage played. And Jacob Fairbank and Jufre, now Keys, asking the referee, surely advantage was played if they've gone past the past the line and past the ball but we've seen early glimpses of this attack from Halifax first of all Keys bringing Cameron on the angle and a lovely little ball to Jufre fortunately just spilled it but then not five seconds later we saw the, the poaching instincts of Greg Eden who had a winger last year wearing two as the king of intercepts we've got another one this year But Oldham it is. He'll have the ball from the scrum, Jordan Turner. Takes it up and put down by Jufre and Tibbs on that side. Here's Chapelau. Met by three fast defenders. Jufre once more involved. Helped out by Fairbank. Slowed the play of the ball down nicely. Wildy works the blind side and finds Wardle. Wardle will take it up. Taken down by G and Tibbs. And again. Stretching the limit of that, holding down the play of the ball. Craven finds Ellis. Nice movement. Astley finds O'Keefe and O'Keefe. Put down well by Keys. Agoro waits. A dummy half. Ellis short to Kopchak. Great hit there from Fairbank. Joined by Murray and Lan in centre field. Good defence there from the Panthers. Last tackle here. Holden Fadertel just passed halfway centre field and Craven once more. Puts it high off that left boot. And McComb takes it well. Thought about the pass, but takes it in. Cause of a high tackle. It's going to be the first penalty of the game. Goes the way of the Panthers. And Keyes wasting no time in getting Halifax up towards halfway with a kick to touch. Tibbs taps and goes, thought about the pass but takes it himself goes past halfway, good yards there from Tibbs impressive in last time out against Keefley O'Brien waits finds Fairbank, short ball to Lannan, Lannan footwork past Lawton but Ellis and Wilde join him good yards again after contact from Lannan fighting for a quick play of the ball O'Brien waits blind again, and Ifax do get a six again Great opportunity here for Halifax. Six more tackles in Oldham's danger area is Eden. Crabs across the defensive line. Well tackled there by Wardle. Tackles in the bag still here for Halifax as O'Brien waits. She was right and goes left. Finds Fairbank, throws a dummy. Put down by Lawton. 12 out from the line. O'Brien sets out and finds Key. Short ball to Murray. Murray well taken down low by Wilde and up top by Taylor. O'Brien goes right and finds Jufre. Further on to Tibbs. Tibbs takes on Turner, but Turner does well. Last tackle here for Fax. Crooks screaming from this left hand side. And Jufre dinks it towards the post. No real chase. But Crooks does put him down where he stands. And Alan Fax will look to put the pressure on here as Ogoro slams it into the defensive line. Lannan and Kavanagh. Along with Fairbank, put him down. Here's O'Keefe, met by Crooks again, and Lannan. As Oldham, find the 20 metre line. O'Keefe takes it up from W half this time. Sorry, Jack Johnson, my mistake. Wildy finds Taylor. He'll just run it straight up to the defence, met by O'Brien, Fairbank, and Lannan. Last tackle here for Oldham on the 40. Craven once more kicks the ball but just goes along the floor Woodburn all collects comfortably enough hands on to McComb and McComb sorry Eden my mistake this is Eden from Jufre and Eden tries to bump off the tackle of O'Keefe but he goes back for more 
Here's Crooks this time. Spins the tackle. Taken by Ellis and Ellis. Scrappy play of the ball. O'Brien thought about the pass but goes himself. Spies some space. Does hand off to Murray and Murray does well. Takes a fast pass halfway. And you can hear the referee shout at the only defence to get out of the way of the play of the ball. Here's what burn all nice footwork onto Kavanagh. Kavanagh with a little half break. He's still going, Kavanagh. Gets the ball back and Oldham definitely touched it there and he's definitely six more tackles for Halifax. From the knock-on from Oldham. As Murray, just outside Oldham's 20. Another great opportunity for Halifax to strike here. And it's a six again. All sorts of limbs trapped up in that tackle. With Lannan taking Fax up to the 10 metres. O'Brien waits, options left and right. He goes right to Jufre and Jufre steps off his right, back inside to Woodburn All. Great last tackle there from the Oldham defence, but quick play the ball from Woodburn All. O'Brien finds Lannan. And Lannan takes his tackle. Less than five out from the post. Look to be shifting it left here to Halifax. O'Brien finds Keys. One ball out, and it's Ogoro with the interception. Ogoro's away. Dufres giving chase, and Ben Tibbs is coming across the field. But Mo Ogoro is going to get over in the corner and hold him. Go from one end of the field to the other to take the lead in this game. At the 11 minute mark. Just when it looked like Halifax were going to strike. The long lift, lift wafted ball from Jufre was plucked out by Moogoro, and despite the chase of Louis Jufre and Ben Tibbs, manages to finish off in the corner. And it's first blood to the Ruffians. And somewhat against the run of play. Oldham do strike. A bit Jamie Ellis with a conversion attempt, looking to increase Oldham's lead. It's unlucky from my fast point of view. We were well worked but maybe the pass was too telegraphed and Moogoro as he's done throughout his career sped away to finish in the corner as Ellis strikes it well it looks like he's drifting through the post he's just drifted the other side so the score remains four points to nil to the home side here What sort of reaction will Fax get? What kind of conflab were they having behind those sticks after that try? Don't think there'll be any panic setting in. I think it's just one of those things that happens, but hopefully we'll be striking back very soon. with Keyes once more to kick off and it'll go towards that right corner again with Turner collecting hands on to Chapelau and Chapelau takes on Lanham joined by Murray eventually put down on his back with the help of Matty G Wilde finds Turner who tries to bump off the defence gets a quick play of the ball too Wilde finds Kopchak Kopchak takes on the fast defence well tackled there by Fairbank by Lannan. Wow, they're on to Chapel out. Fairbank this time. Does tackle him. Helped out by G as Oldham were already past halfway. Wilde finds Taylor. Takes it to Halifax defence. Had Lawton on his shoulder, but just took it himself. Last tackle here for Oldham. As Ellis puts it high. Looks like Ian's gonna be claiming this and does. 
was a great hold on Chase as O'Keefe was to carry him back from once he came. Here's Crooks trying to take on that back of defence, but great tackle there from Lawton. Looks very quick from Marker, I must say. As would burn all, let's use footwork at a line, but this Oldham defence, quick up at the line. O'Brien finds McComb. Quick play of the ball from McComb as Murray takes fast pass past the 40s, last tackle already as O'Brien finds it's Jufre and Jufre behind the 40 kicks he bounces towards Agoro who takes it on his 20 runs inside well put down there by Keyes and Kavanagh as Ifax this time will look to put pressure on in their defence Astley throws a dummy he was selling a dummy but Lannan wasn't buying and they put him down just over the 30 And here's Turner. Look dangerous the ball each time, but facts nullify that threat for now. With Fairbank in G putting down five metres shy of halfway. Wilder finds Taylor onto Ellis, brings on Lawton on the angle, but great tackle down low by Adam O'Brien. But it's a quick play of the ball though. It's Wildy. That's some more field to run at back inside to Kopchak. It looks flat, if I'm being kind, that pass. Wilde fires it to Craven and Craven puts it high towards that corner. Big test here for McComb. Well taken by McComb and stays in the field of play more importantly. As Tibbs runs it through. But gets bounced off by an Oldham defender. As Oldham really turned the screw here. Woodburn all runs towards centre field. Tries to go between the gap of Wilde and Kopchak but they put him down. Just past the 10 metres. Dufre works the blind side again. McComb. Bounce off in that tackle. Here's Murray, centre field. Trying to make more yards, but Halifax, last tackle. Not even past a 25. As O'Brien finds keys and keys. Puts it high and long. Astley waiting underneath it, takes it well enough. Hands on to Johnson. I think Olin will start the set on the 40. Here's Ellis onto Agoro, and Agoro from a standing start tries to spy a gap, but he's dealt with by Crooks. And a six again. Four all in the first of the game. As Wilde finds Ellis running at the line, finds Craven who slows the play down. Brilliant ball there from Craven. Astley goes back on the inside looking for a gap. He's running all the way across the field, Astley. Pass it on to O'Keefe and O'Keefe. Well, Astley running across the field. He was never going to give up that line. Wildy, short to Kopchak. Great opportunity here for Oldham. Still tackles here for them. Less than 10 out. Wildy finds Ellis. On to Craven. Craven throws a dummy, but... Great defence there from G. Had to be. Still tackles here for Oldham. Wildy finds Taylor. Out of the back to Ellis. On to Astley. Loose ball forward to Eden. And Eden's going to pick it up. But there's a penalty. Back play. Referee Mike Smales ruling that Kopchak was taken off the ball. And will Alden go for two here or will they chance their arm and keep up this momentum? I must admit I didn't see it because my eyes were on the ball, but the referee's there and they can the signal going on from the Oldham bench to go for two. And why wouldn't you? Cup rugby, the penalty in front of the post. And I fast may maybe won't mind that. I'll hold them were getting a little bit of head of steam in, in attack. Halifax might just see two points as 
not the worst result in the world as Dan Murray makes his way from the field to be replaced by Adam Tangatar. As Ellis from bang in front slots the ball over for two. And just after the first quarter, here at Boundary Park, it's Oldham six, Halifax nil. As Joe Keys will kick off once more. Oh, to Turner once more, who collects once more. As Chapelau takes it in, bounces off G, but Tangatar and Lannan there to put him down. Here's Turner. Good yards after contact, but put down by Fairbank and O'Brien. Quick play the ball though, Wilde finds Ellis. Alden trying to pick up the pace through Kotchak who runs behind his own man but nothing given by the referee as well he jumps out from dummy half and Alden marching into Halifax's half with ease here Taylor goes left to Wardle steps inside takes on G and Dufresne and gets put down 25 metres out from the fax line Wilde works the blind side onto Craven Craven just drops on his foot Wood Bernal does well to take it there in the field of play, Oldham looking for the voluntary tackle. And he gets pushed back over the line for a drop out. Well, you see him given, see him not. Woodburn all dive on the ball. Trying to avoid a voluntary tackle, gets back up and Oldham just drag him up. As Halifax have the first goal line drop out of the game. And a great opportunity for Oldham to extend the lead as Ryan Lannan makes way for Kevin Leroyer. Woodburn all with a dropout collected by Turner on that far touchline. And Johnson starts the Oldham set off. They'll play the ball 35 metres from the fax line. Here's Chapelau. Gets put down by three fax defenders in the shape of Tangatar. Fairbank and Leroyer. Here's Ellis, out of the back to Craven. Short ball to Lawton, well dealt with by Keyes and Kavanagh. Great tackle there, but Oldham still have tackles in the bag here. Wilde finds Taylor onto Craven. Ellis knocks on, and that is a big sigh of relief for the Panthers. And Jordan Turner shows his frustration there. They knew that was a big chance. And Ifax will get the scrum down. 50 metres out for their own line centre field lots of chat between the Halifax players moving everyone around like a chessboard as Keys feed O'Brien finds Crooks and Crooks runs across field possible opportunity to counter attack he shakes off a tackle well does Ben Crooks great yards there from the centre eventually put down by Taylor and Chapelau here's McComb good yards there from Zach who takes Vax past the 40 O'Brien waits a dummy half onto Leroy who rampages onto the ball goes past halfway great little dumb tackle there from Elijah Taylor O'Brien finds Dufresne, G steps inside, takes on Wilde. This is better from Halifax. Much better yards as G will play the ball just outside the 30. Dufresne lost it to Fairbank, on to Tangata, and Tangata footwork at the line. He let tackle just outside the 20. Last tackle here for Fax. O'Brien jumps out from Dummy R, finds Keys, Keys chips up looking for Kavanagh to chase. Well taken by Agoro, but Kavanagh, brilliant play there. Takes him just by the try line as O'Keefe 
Taken once more by Kavanagh and Fairbank. And here's Farnworth off the bench for Oldham. Takes four fax men to put him down. The ex witness man. And clears a rook as well. Astley jumps out from dummy half. Really good footwork there from Logan Astley. He gets put down on his own 40 by Dufre. Wilder finds Farnworth again. Great footwork. He leaves Tangata just stood there. But Tangata finished off the tackle. Wilder uses the blind side onto Wardle. Wardle takes on Leroy and G and gets inside Faxes 40. Wardle stacking his right hand side. Craven runs at the line. Short ball. As Jay Chapelau gets taken down. Wilder finds Taylor, runs at the line, onto Craven, Craven, short ball to Wardle, cries a forward pass, not given there. And I think all of them have had a six again that I might have missed there. Craven, grubbles it through, looking for the chase, well gobbled up there by Joe Keyes. But Alden just starting to turn the screw here with the kicking game. Forcing a second goal line drop out of the game for Fax. as Connor Davies comes onto the field I think for Jacob Fairbank there as we'll burn all once more with a drop out Astley takes and here's Chapelau with Connor Davies straight into work helped out by Laroya and Tangata the bench all three of them working well there as Farnworth Drives it up, stopped by O'Brien and G. O'Brien trying to slow this play the ball down. Wilder jumps out from dummy half. Short ball to Taylor and Taylor looking to go through the gap. Desperate defence there from Fax. Wilder finds Craven. Out of the back to Ellis. One ball to Astley. Astley steps back inside. Astley still stepping. Long ball out to Turner and Turner has to be taken there from Tibbs and Tibbs does well. Turner still with his arm free, still going Jordan Turner, amazing skills. As Jufre puts him down on the 10. Turner begging for a penalty, not giving as Farnworth charges in once more. Last tackle here for Oldham, big moments here for Halifax in defence. As Craven throws a dummy, does he go over the line? Brilliant last ditch defence there from the Panthers, had to be. Big moment there from Woodburn Hall, Leroyer and G, I think it was there. Eleven minutes to go till half time, still 6 0 to Oldham as Crooks. Takes the ball up and met really well by Chapelau. Drew Frey works the blind side as McCall looks to be taken quite high there, but nothing given for the referee. Old were really eating here in defence. As Connor Davis felt the brute force there and Tangata going back in towards a rook. Quick play of the ball though. O'Brien finds Woodburn all, throwing some footwork in, puts his nose through the gap but still put down. Quick play of the ball on the last tackle, Jufre. Kick comes in from G and it's not a bad result there by luck rather than design. And I fast won't be too disappointed with that. As Oldham will start to set off. 15 metres from their own line with the play of the ball, centre field. As Ted Chapelau replaces his brother Jay. And Farnworth takes the ball in. Big contact there from the fast defence who try and push him back. Great battle there between G, Connor Davies and O'Brien. 
Wilder works the blind side as Johnson off his wing. But great tackle there by O'Brien once more. And G. Wilder. Good hit there from Tangata, helped out by Laroya. As Fax trying to restrict this Oldham movement upfield. Taylor. Great tackle there from Kavanagh. Out from the edge. Helped out by Tangata. Wilder surveys. Hands on to Chapelau, who gets a bit of steam. Three fast men waiting for him in the shape of Leroya, Connor Davis, and G. Last sack lay for Oldham. Wilde finds Craven, and Craven will just grub it towards a corner. And the bounce is unkind for him, but great for Halifax. He goes dead. A much needed seven tackle set here for Fax. Goes O'Brien, taps and goes and finds Eden and Eden will try and get away. Brilliant tackle, but manages to get the ball out. And Conor Navy's ready to take over. Put down there by O'Keefe. O'Brien finds McComb. McComb gets put down by Wildy. Jufre, long ball out to Tibbs, out to G, and it's an in attempt at interception on that left hand side by Jack Johnson. But he knocks the ball on, and Fax will get another set of six here. They'll get just a little bit more possession. Be a scrum. Centre field just over the 40. Well, it will be eventually. Keys to feed. O'Brien finds Will Bernard. Footwork dummy. But Lawton weren't fooled. But Fats go over halfway, and you can hear the referee shout at the Olden defence to get back. Crooks thought about the pass, but just takes it in, and three Olden men. Eventually put him down, just shy of the 40. Still in there as O'Brien throws it to Conor Davis. On to Leroy and Leroy stopped in his tracks. Halifax just outside the 30, slow play the ball. O'Brien finds Conor Davis, out the back to Keys. On to Kavanagh on the angle, but great tackle there by Chapelau. Down low, found with up top, but quick play the ball. O'Brien onto Keys. Keys steps inside, runs across the line, looking for options and finds Tangata. And Tangata takes his tackle, 15 out from the line. Last tackle here for Fax. They were the blind side. Keys out of the back to a burn all. Long ball out to Eden. And Eden, can he get his first try? And Fax goes, he can. An acrobatic finish. And Greg Eden scores the first Alifaz Panthers try of 2024. with a typical acrobatic finish in the corner. Seven minutes till half time, and Fax strike really well. Had to be. They were the blind side really well. O'Brien to Keys, out of the back to Woodburn Hall, who threw the long pass, which didn't work. First of all, when Ogoro Intercepted, he did this time in Eden. Finished. He could rather awkwardly, typically acrobatic in that corner to open his account for the Panthers. And like I said before, with one winger wearing two who could finish acrobatic in the corner, we've got another one. And Fax strike just before half time, which was much needed. Be even better if Joe Keyes taking over the kicking duties from Louis Dufray from the Kiefer game. Can they add the extras from this near touchline? He pulled it to the left hand side, and it's not coming round soon enough. So the score remains with five minutes to go till half time. Oldham six, Halifax four. Can Fax build on this? 
they finally got the reward which their attacking players deserved. But will Oldham respond? As Jamie Ellis wants to restart the game from the kickoff. He goes high and left. Jufre claims in goal, hands it on to his compatriot Leroy, and Leroy takes on the old defence, but they push him back slightly through Chapelau. O'Brien finds Tangatar, who makes some much needed yards out, despite the attentions of Wildy and Lawton. Slow play the ball again. Referee just tells him to get up. Jufre long ball to Crooks, Crooks. Tries to fend off Ellis, but he does well, helped out by O'Keefe. Yet again, Halifax denied a penalty from messing around to play the ball, and Eden wraps up well there by Chapelau and O'Keefe. O'Brien finds Kavanagh, and Kavanagh gets put down on the 40, no real yards made there, but quick play the ball from Kavanagh. Keys just puts it high and long, just... Looking for anything to get facts out of the way, and Astley is never going to give that ball up. He takes the tackle of Tangata. And Leroy. Agoro. Good shot there from Kavanagh, but he's still making yards with his leg drive. Tangata goes down low to stop his progress. As O'Keefe off his centre, takes his tackle. Craven finds Wardle, Wardle tries to poke his nose through but put down by Jufre and Tangata. Wildy finds Craven, runs across the line, disguised ball there. So Pat Moran, I believe that's just come onto the field. Last tackle here, Craven kicks the ball towards a corner, McComb waits, takes well, does well as there does McComb. Quick play the ball to Jufre. Finds Eden and Eden will try and make some yards off field with his own defence. He's up to the task. Woodburn all again throwing some footwork. Cries of a high tackle not heard by the referee. As Woodburn all gets back up to his feet to play the ball. Here's Crooks. Quick defensive line up in his face. As O'Keefe puts his opposite number down. Eden jumps out from dummy half, throws the ball to Davis, who juggles with the ball and keeps hold. Hands off to Leroy, and Leroy throws a dummy. Who goes back to once he came, Kevin Leroy, steps through the gap. But still Halifax, only 25 metres out for their own line on the last tackle. Keys runs with the ball, Leroy, uh, due frame, my mistake. Kicks the ball on the bouncy Vays, Astley who eventually gets it. Hands on to Johnson, and Johnson looking to counter attack here. And Connor Davies puts him down, just shy of the 30. 90 seconds to go till half time as Agoro takes a tackle of Crooks and O'Brien. Here's Chapelau. Big contact there from Tangata out by Connor Davies and Leroy as Oldham just shy of halfway. Wildy finds Ellis out the back to Craven. Craven further on to Astley, on to Jordan Turner, Jordan Turner. Out to Johnson, Johnson steps inside. Great tackle there. By Tibbs, had to be. By McComb, sorry. Here's Wildy. Finds Ellis. Out of the back to Astley. Long ball out to Agoro. And Agoro looking for the corner. Great tackle by Keys. And Agoro's in. Agoro gets his second try of the game on the stroke of our time. And how important could that be in the context of this game? Oldham shifting the ball left to right. Crook shot in to try and put pressure on Astley, leaving a gap for Agoro. Despite the challenge of Joe Keys and Woodburn all, managed to squeeze in in that corner. And Oldham. We'll go into half time with at least a six point lead. 
And how important is this conversion attempt from Ellis? Potential two score leads taken to half time for Oldham. Could be massive. And unsurprisingly, Jamie Ellis is taking all the time that he can with this conversion attempt. He was just the wrong side of the post on his first attempt from the same position. I'm not too sure what the hold up is here. He eventually starts his preparation. As you might have heard, the hooter got, went in the background. So it is half time. Is it going to be a six point difference or an eight point difference? As Ellis strikes, curves it round, he likes to look at that. It's gone over the post and Jamie Ellis, like he has done throughout his career, with an important conversion to send the rough heads into the sheds with an eight point lead, a crucial two score difference. Massive, massive our time coming up here for Halifax and new coach Liam Finn. The half time score here at Boundary Park of Oldham 12, Halifax Panthers 4. Welcome back to Boundary Park for the second half of Halifax's defence of this 1895 Cup, which isn't going the way they planned. Find themselves down. 12 points to fall to the home side Oldham as Moa Goro scored two tries in the corner which sandwiched a Greg Eden acrobatic special of his own massive massive 40 minutes coming up for Halifax and Liam Finn who'll, who will be desperate to start his Halifax Panthers coaching career with a win and Fax has got it all to do because Oldham look really good Craven and Ellis dictating the game Halifax have had the moments and perhaps unfairly disallowed a try but Oldham are taking the chance as well. There'll be Fax to receive the kickoff from Jamie Ellis. Massive 40 minutes coming up as Ellis puts it deep and left. Dufrey waits and collects, hands it on to Leroyer, and Leroyer charges it straight up. Clattered by Joe Wardle. Wins her up though, and Matty G takes it up as well. As Fax starts to get away from their own 20. O'Brien oh, waits, finds Tangata, and Tangata runs centre field, takes on Wilder, but Wilder does well. Tangata plays the ball. Here's Keys. And look, Kavanagh drops it cold, and after such a good first half in the second rower, makes a bad mistake. At the start of this second half, and Oldham have a fantastic opportunity to perhaps put this game to bed, you might think. With a scrum 25 metres out from the fax line, centre field. But it will when it's eventually formed. Wilder gives it to Ellis, onto Craven, short ball to Turner. Taken well by Tibbs and Dufre, finished off down low by G. As Oldham have six tackles, now that's his 20. Here's Farnworth. Takes three fast men to put him down in the shape of Tanga, Tyler Royer and Connor Davies. And it's an incorrect play of the ball there, and Halifax get it let off the hook. And you can see 
the new interpretation of the laws in full effect there. Mike Smiles policing the rook correctly as Tangatar has to make yards off field, but as ever, this old defence tenacious as Kavanagh managed to hold on this time and make some yards off field on that left hand side. Quick play of the ball, too. Here's Crooks. Gets one hand off, but reinforcements arrive in the shape of Wildy. And Chapel to put him down. Here's Tangata, and Tangata puts his nose through the gap, wrestles with Wardle, but Farnworth puts him down low. Slow play of the ball. O'Brien finds Dufre, brings on G on the angle, but Wardle reads it really well. And Alifas is just really struggling to make yards up field at the moment. Dufre on the last. Spirals the ball towards Astley. It's a big bounce and Astley takes it bravely as Leroya was right on him. And Agoro. The game breaker at the moment gets put down by Connor Davies. Good footwork at the line there from Johnson. But Davies once more puts him down. Here's Jordan Turner. Good yards up field there from Turner. Quick play of the ball too as Wilde finds a rampage in Chapelau, who takes hold and past halfway. Last tackle here for the Ruffyheads as Wilde finds Craven and Craven just thinks the ball towards a corner, looking to trap Halifax there. Wanting to keep the ball in, in the pitch. Woodburn all throws a dummy. And he gets put down. Jufre, long ball to McComb. McComb just sees a wall of red and white waiting for him. Manages to find the 20 metre though, does McComb. Here's Eden. And again, this old and defence, relentless. Especially when Alifax coming out of yard, is this old and defence is just right on our faces. As Connor Davies this time. Three older men put stock to him. Here's Leroya. Runs wide, trying to find some space. Gets the offload to O'Brien. Back to Connor Davies. He'll just take the ball straight up at the middle. Last sack lay for Fax, just past the 40. As O'Brien goes left to Keys, who fans it wide to Crooks, and Crooks knocks it on cold. And he just doesn't get the ball dead. And Alden run away to score through Ben O'Keefe. And that is a criminal error from Ben Crooks. First of all, by dropping the ball cold, but then not putting the ball dead, not just diving on it, doing anything with it, just laps the concentration. And Ben O'Keefe raced away to score what could perhaps be the match winning score. 16 points to four, five minutes after half time. And huge, huge moments here for Halifax in the context of this game. What kind of reaction is there behind those posts? First match of 2024. First match of Liam Finn's coaching reign. First match of Joe Keyes and Adam O'Brien's co-captainship. And a massive, massive test. As Jamie Ellis from wide out once more looks to put that three score buffer between himself and Ifax. Strikes it high. Is it through the posts? It is. You can hear by the reaction of those Oldham fans on the far side. Oldham have their three score advantage back. Oh, we're seven minutes gone in the second half. Oldham 18, Halifax 4. 
and a mountain to climb here for Halifax. In their defence of the 1895 Cup, Wembley seems a long, long time ago right now. As Keyes gets us back underway. And Turner drops it cool. Well, it's spreading. One centre drops it cold, and the other centre drops it cold. And now, can Halifax strike back? Could this be the opportunity? If Halifax can just score now, maybe they can get the momentum. It's going back into this game. Still plenty of time left, remember. Scrub down, 10 metres out, centre field. They stack it left, Dufay runs at the line, goes out the back to Woodburn Hall. On to Eden, Eden knocks the ball on. Oh, has he scored? Oh, he scored! Amazing! I might need some new glasses. And Eden, with yet another remarkable finish in that corner. And Halifax do strike back, just when needed. What a finish in that corner. Two bad mistakes from two centres have led to tries. And Greg Eden scores his second of the season. And is that the moment that Fax start to cling back this match? His left keys, yet another tricky conversion attempt on that far side. Can he turn this four into six? He tries it high, he's gone through the boys. No, I thought the cheers from the Halifax fans on that side, but the, the flags wave away. And Keyes yet to find the mark from the tee. But Halifax strike back and are within 10 points of Oldham. Just going up to 10 minutes from half time. After half time, Oldham 18, Halifax 8. As Adam O'Brien takes a well deserved rest, and Tom Inman comes onto the field. As Ellis gets us back underway. Goes towards Jufri who collects and on the Tangata with a running head of steam. Brilliant run there from Tangata, but the own defence matches him. Slowing the play of the ball down Moran. Here's Connor Davies. Good footwork there to avoid the challenge of Lawton and does well after contact. Inman short to Kavanagh on the angle, but gets a quick play of the ball and hold him a ping for offside. And that's the penalty's manner from heaven. For Halifax. And again, Keyes wasting no time in getting the penalty into touch. And Tibbs taps and finds G, throws a dummy, looks to go through the gap. Halifax playing with the tails up a little bit here. Inman finds it to Tangatar onto Laroya. Laroya takes on the equally tall. Figure of Lawton joined by Wildy, who put him down just over the 30. Messi play the ball again. Referee just tells him to get up off the, off the floor, and Leroy eyeballing Lawton in back play. Meanwhile, Connor Davis plays the ball. Here's Keyes, brings on Kavanagh on the angle. Put down by three Ulm defenders inside the 20. Fights for a quick play the ball. He and she was at dummy half. Finds Leroyer. Short ball to Jufre. Long ball out to Ben Tibbs. And Ben Tibbs steps inside. Can he stay in the field of play? Does well as a referee falls on the floor. With the biggest cheer of the day. Last tackle here for Fax. McComb onto Jufre. Finds Keys. Keys kicks it across field looking for Crooks. Well taken there by Agoro. And he's pushed back in the in goal by Crooks and Eden. Brilliant play there from. The winger and centre. 
And a great response from Ifax, who forced Holden's first goal line drop out of the game. Still plenty of time, 52 minutes gone, 18 points to eight, and Ifax try will make it very interesting. Hopefully underneath a post. As Danny Craven eventually fires drop out, goes over halfway off, awkward bounce, collected by Keys onto LaRoya. And LaRoya takes his tackle five metres in, into the rough heads half. Slow play, the ball as Inman wakes. Davies onto Tangata. Steps out tackle of Wardlin, still going Tangata. Great yards, quick play the ball too. Inman shoots half a dummy half. This is great from Halifax. Throws a dummy. Gets put down inside the 20. Halifax picking up the pace and getting a six again as well. Davies fires out to Keys, onto Jufre. Jufre finds Crooks. Gets put down inside the 10. Here's Eden, throws the ball to Davis. good footwork at the line. Put down by three home defenders, just shy of that try line. Still tackles in the bag here for Fax. Inman waits a dummy half, fires it to Keyes, onto Jufre. Jufre out the back to Woodburn Hall, steps, lovely step by James Woodburn Hall. And he goes, he goes through that defence. And what a response from the Panthers. As James Woodburn Hall Opens his account for 2024 with a plum. They've been playing a lot of 90s dance tunes today, and that was the hot stepper from James Woodburn Hall. And he walked through a gap big enough for an Oldham bus to go over for the try, despite the protestations of the Oldham defence. And 15 minutes into the second half, Halifax pull it back to 18 points to 12. With a change of kicker with Louis Jufre. Taking the kicking duties back off Joe Keyes. And he saw how much it meant to Woodburn all that try. Not least that he's off the nudie run, but also back in this game. Or can Jufre bring Halifax back within a score? 18 points to 12. He'd love to slot this between the posts to make it a four point ball game. Which he does straight through the post. Louis Jufre. Game well and truly back on here at Boundary Park. As Halifax, not willing to give this 1895 cup up without a fight. A thrilling last 25 minutes left here. And oh, what response have Oldham got now? As Jamie Ellis once more looks to kick off. He'll go deep once more to Jufre, collecting his in goal. And on Sangata, another great run out of yardage, but this old defence up to the challenge. Inman finds it to Connor Davies, who's done well since he's come on. Great yards after contact. As Inman waits, surveys his options, goes left to Kavanagh, and Kavanagh looking to take on that old and right flank. He gets put down 25 metres out. Here's Ben Crooks. Makes some good yards up towards the 40. Gets quick play of the ball from the rook as well. Here's Connor Davies once more. Had Leroy in support, but just took it himself. He's still going, Connor Davies. This, they can't put him down. Last tackle clear for Fax. Inman buys it to Keyes, and Keyes puts it high towards that corner it looks like he's going out on the floor and it is and that's a bad mistake from Joe Keyes he puts his head in his hands he knows that's a bad mistake but Woodburn all straight over to him saying don't worry about it we'll help you out in defence now and Zach McComb chief cheerleader there 
after all his good work from Halifax, they can't let it slip now. Here's Farnworth. Well put down by three fast defenders, Inman down low. Held out by G and Connor Davies once more. Moran on to Ellis, Lawton on the angle, great tackle down low by Inman. Held to the top by Tangatar. Here's Moran, finds Craven, short ball to Taylor, but Jew Frey's wise to it, held out by G. All done within 10 metres of that fast line. They were at the blind side. Here's Craven. Long ball to Turner. Turner looking to charge over that line. And that is a soft, soft try to concede for the Panthers. And Jordan Turner, again, a wealth of experience. Finishes off on that left hand side. And Liam Finn will not be looking back at that with any sense of pride as Oldham pushed back the lead back out to two scores again as that Joe Keys kick out on the full does indeed prove costly as Oldham in the resulting set Work the blind side nicely. And Jordan Turner just powered over. That's Jamie Ellis. He was kept brilliantly all day. We'll look to slot this. Over to give Oldham back their 10 point lead. Which he looks to have done brilliantly straight through the post. That's a perfect kick from Ellis. That's his fourth of the afternoon. And Oldham do get their 10 point lead back. 24 points to 14. Coming up to the last 20 minutes this match. A huge 20 minutes. said what response of Oldham got after that last score they had a great response now what response of Halifax got after that score as a try score return a collects the ball hands on to Farnworth and Farnworth tries to bump off Leroy but he grips onto him held up by Tangataro who's worked really hard since coming off the bench here he is again a turn a goose stepping into that Halifax defence really playing with the tail up now quick play the ball too but good defence there from G and Tangata as Oldham approaching halfway. As Bailey Aldridge onto the field at dummy half, operating things for Oldham as Farnworth takes on the fax defence in the shape of Davies and Tangata. Last tackle here for Oldham. Aldridge finds Ellis and Ellis puts the ball up. Look at the chase to the right hand side, but well taken there by Eden. Leapt up to take that ball. Here's Crooks. Takes on Lawton and Lawton put belts him back as Leroy makes way for Lannan. Slow play the ball as Upburn all steps looking for a gap, but the door closes. Fax struggling to get out of their own 20 as Lannan straight into the action gets Fax out of the 20 and towards the 30. Looking for a quick play of the ball and gets it. Inman kicks from dummy half and just looks to get yards, but it just goes dribbling towards Astley at the back. But he chases his own kick well. Along with Keys. Here's Agoro off the wing in the middle. Looking for work and does well. Takes all them past halfway. Here's Johnson again. Off his wing, the back three, getting Oldham, 35 metres out from the fax line. Here's Chapelau, Ter Chapelau that is, 
takes a tackle of Matty G. Aldridge finds Ellis, shapes and passes right to Craven. Short ball to Lawton, and I did look forward, but referee rules play on. As Craven runs across the line, showing and going out to Chapelau, and Chapelau gets put down five metres shy of the line. Massive moments here is Oldham on this left hand side once more. Craven, long ball out, and it's a forward pass, and quite rightly, the referee's given that. May as well have been a quarterback there, Danny Craven. As Dan Murray and Jacob Fairbank come onto the field to replace Tangata and Connor Davies. Great stint from then too. As will burn all. Finds Eden looking to take on his own defence. He gets put down just over his own 20 metre line. Jufre finds Kavanagh. Kavanagh takes his tackle, just shy of 30. This old defence yet again. Restricting yardage as Inman from dummy half. And when do you see that? A rare mistake from the young man. And Oldham can sense blood here. Zach McCorn trying his best to G up his teammates. Twenty-four fourteen to Oldham. Sixteen minutes to go. And Oldham will have a scrum twenty-five metres out from the fax line, centre field. They bring it left. Craven finds Turner. He's put down by Tibbs G and Jufre on the twenty. Here's Aldridge, short ball to Kopchak. And Kopchak trundles the ball up, put down by three fast defenders. Oldham stacking it right. Aldridge finds Craven. Oh, back to Ellis, further on to Lawton. Lawton rampaging through, but well stopped there by Fairbank. Still tackles here for Oldham. They bring it left, Craven. Out of the back to Astley. Finds Turner, Turner takes on Tibbs. On to Johnson, Jack Johnson. Desperate defence here from Halifax. Less than five out from the line, Oldham as Turner waits at dummy half. Fires the ball back to Craven and Craven. On to Aldridge, Aldridge just drops it off to Kopchak, just set up the play. Last tackle here for Oldham. Looking to go blind again through Craven. Craven, short ball to Elijah Taylor and Taylor looking to drive over the line. He stopped just short. But I don't think... I don't think they'll mind that. I think they'll, they're just wanting to play the territory game here. Challenging Halifax to go 90 metres to score. And Matty G will get the play the ball 10 metres out from his own line. Here's McComb. Trying to make some yards upfield, but he's put down by three old defenders. Fights for a quick play of the ball, Inman. Finds Tibbs, runs laterally, try and find some space out wide, but the old defence does well. Gets quick play of the ball, Halifax working the blind side through Crooks. Crooks makes some good yards up there. Five metres shy of halfway. Inman finds it to Keys. Keys onto Lannan. Lannan just takes the ball up himself. As Halifax still not their own half yet, as Oldham trying to slow the play the ball down. Inman shakes right and goes left. Keys throws a dummy and goes through. Oh, and Ben Kavan has dropped it again. And Agoro looking to counter attack. Big, big moment there. Oldham survive. Less than a quarter of an hour to go, still 10 points of difference. As Kopchak, what's by Fairbank? And Fairbank's come off second best, and and Kavanagh coming in for a big hit, trying to make up for his error. As Ifax just going for the big hits, but not wrapping the arms round. Ellis chips in, looking for the chase of Craven, and Craven it goes against the post. Woodburn all 
somehow clears it up. Desperate times here for the Panthers. Who just about survived as Crooks makes his way up. Screams of a high tackle on that far side, not heard by the referee. As Eden makes some much needed yardage out there. Inman wakes, finds McComb, steps to the line, tries to spin out the tackle, but this Oldham defence has been brilliant. Restricting this yardage of Halifax out, it's Keyes, put pressure on on the inside. And it's another error, although it's a penalty, my mistake. The referee ruling that there was a tackle off the ball. And a much needed penalty for Halifax, which Keyes boots out in a touch. Showing some urgency and Crooks taps quickly. Gets it to the 40. Now Halifax, you feel need to score really soon as Fairbank makes some good yards upfield. 25 metres out from the Oldham line. Options left and right for Inman. He goes short to the rook with Murray on the right-hand side and Murray takes it up. Put down by Kopchak and Taylor. Fights for a quick play of the ball. Halifax stacking it left. Jufre dismayed, didn't go his way. And the ball goes to Kavanagh and he throws it blind. And Ben Kavanagh panicking there when he didn't need it to panic. He's had some big moments in this game, Ben Kavanagh. Has Oldham survived yet again? What can Halifax's defence do to restrict this Oldham yardage to try and arm wrestle this game back in their favour? Here's Agoro. Always a strong carrier. Gets Oldham to the 30. Oldham desperate for a penalty but nothing given by the referee as Chapelau does well to find the 45 and wins the rook Caldridge jumps out from dummy half short ball to Kopchak who trundles the ball upfield makes some really great yards last tackle here for the rough heads Aldridge waits at dummy half goes to Craven and Craven puts it along the floor a brilliant play there from Craven the pressure he had from Jufre on his inside shoulders to find that kick not for the first time, Craven kicking us to death. And Halifax, 10 minutes to go. 600 seconds to save. The 1895 Cup campaign as McComb starts off the set. Plays the ball on the 20, Inman. Finds Fairbank onto Murray and Murray tries to take on Lawton, but Ellis comes in to help out. Halifax with that blind side again. Jufre steps off and finds a gap. Lawton run back in defence and had to make that tackle. Here's Fairbank. Finds Keys. Keys. Long ball out to Tibbs. Tibbs tries to take on Turner and Turner will try to get into touch, which he does. And that shows a bit of naivety in that play of Halifax there. You just knew that Turner, with all the experience and guile that he has, put Tibbs exactly where he wanted him and pushed him over the sideline. And the chances are running out here for Halifax to get back into this game. And Oldham will have a play of the ball on the 30 centre field with Kopchak. As Kavanagh shoots in. But again, don't manage to complete the tackle. Here's Agoro. Runs at Kavanagh this time, but Kavanagh does well, puts him down. He's lost the ball as well. Brilliant play there from Kavanagh, forcing the mistake. I say he's had a, some big moments in this game, Kavanagh, both positive and negative. That was a big positive one there. Goro doesn't look too good on the floor there. The referee stopped the clock. 
eight minutes to go. Massive eight minutes. I repeat myself, but it is, it's huge. Liam Finn leaving his spot in the stands to go down to the touchline to have more of an influence on his charges from pitch level. Thankfully, Agoro's okay, but I think he may well be going off the pitch for a head injury assessment. As he does look a bit groggy walking off the pitch, he's had a fantastic game as the winger, two tries, and hopefully he's okay. And it's just precautionary. And after all, at Halifax, we'll have a scrum. Centre field just over halfway. And I said it before, but I'll say it now. Halifax have to score now if they've got any chance of winning this game. As Adam Tangata waits to come back onto the field. Keys to feed the scrum, Inman collects. Jufre finds on to Tibbs who stays well away from that sideline makes some good yards there as well as Elijah Taylor using all his wild to to disrupt the tackle there as G takes it up Inman waits Keys finds Woodburn all Woodburn all put down Less than 10 out from the line, Crooks. Cameron finds Keys, Keys. Out of the back to Jufre, but the, the, his support had overran him. And I will have to start again. It's Dan Murray that Adam Tangatar came on for, by the way. Inman waits at dummy half. Fires it onto Lannan. Lannan, short ball to Fairbank, and Fairbank charges towards those posts. Options left and right here for Halifax on the last. Inman finds it left to Keys. Keys throws a dummy onto a burn all short ball to Crooks and Crooks is over on that left hand side. And there it is, the response that had to come. I said they had to score now if they had any chance to win this game and that's exactly what they've done. Coming up to five minutes to go in this game. And he hasn't, wow. They've made me look stupid. And it's a penalty. The referee's given a penalty after all that, well... I'm not too sure what the penalty's for. There must have been obstruction, well... Five minutes to go and that may well be it. As Craven boots the ball out for the penalty. And Turner just... Leisurely just takes the ball up into that defensive line. as Ifas will try and force a mistake to try and get this ball back to strike back but as it is Pat Moran will play the ball for Oldham on the 40 here's Kopchak steps inside and finds Tangata and Inman waiting for him Oldham will just want to see this game out no frills one up rugby as Inman charges in to try and force that mistake on Chapelau. Wilder waits at dummy half, finds Craven, brings on Moran on the angle, stopped by Lannan and Inman. Last tackle here for Oldham. Wilder's got options left and right, he goes left for Craven, and Craven will no doubt just grubber this ball towards the touchline, which he does. Great game management there from Danny Craven. And Fax are running out of time, running out of chances. Play the ball 10 metres out from their own line. Three and a half minutes to go. Still 24 14. As McComb starts to set off. Fires it to Keys. Halifax look to attack Oldham out wide. They've struggled to go through them. They'll try and go around them as Kavanagh gets stopped on the 20. Long ball from Eden. G does well. 
Steps inside, great tackle there by Taylor though, finished off by Kopchak. Referee rules out as a flop and it's a six again for Halifax. Here's Tibbs. Takes on the old defence in the shape of Wildy and Moran. And Wildy slowing this play the ball down. Inman fires it to Lannan, running wide, onto Keys. Long ball out to Crooks. Well stopped there by Jordan Turner on that side, helped out by Ellis. As Crooks fights for the play of the ball. Eden, long ball to Fairbank who just about holds onto it. And makes some really good yards upfield. On the 30. Inman to Keys. Brings on Kavanagh on the angle. Chances here, Inman. Takes the ball well from a bit of hospital ball there. The facts have to score now. Here's Fairbank, throws a dummy. Takes on the only defence and gets put down less than 10 from the line. Last tackle here. My smells raises his hand. Inman to Dufray. Dufray, short ball to Tibbs and Tibbs is through. Tibbs has broken through to score. And there is the try. Two minutes to go. And the referee does award it this time. And Dufre are going to waste no time to hopefully convert this score. To turn this four into six, which it does. 90 seconds to go, Oldham 24, Halifax 20. A grandstand finish here in the first game of this 1895 Cup. Can Halifax strike back? to keep the defence alive. On the try, brilliant line from Tibbs. And lovely disguised ball from Dufre. The old, the old defence expected to go out the back to Woodburn all. But went short to Tibbs and Tibbs with a great line through. And Oldham taking all the time that they can to take this restart plenty of experience in that lineup and they're using it to the full as Ellis kicks it deep to Jufre and Jufre takes it well just stays in the field of play hands on to Tangata Tangata thought about that pass for a second but he keeps hold and Halifax have got some Players who can go length of the field, they'll need them now as Lannan makes some great yards upfield despite the attentions of Wildy and Lawton. He's still going. And it's a skinny 10 as well. Halifax working that blind side. Jufre short to Kavanagh and Kavanagh trying to poke his nose through. He's put down there by Lawton and Wildy. Inman finds keys, runs across field onto Jufre. Jufre, long ball out to Tibbs, it goes through his hands. Will he stay in the field of play? He doesn't. And that may well be it. As the clock in the stadium goes to 80 minutes. I don't think it's stopped that clock, so it may well have some time, but Oldham will fancy just seeing this game out. And Ifax trying to force their arm, come up with the error. Oh, there's some Halifax fans on that far side. They've seen enough. Wilder from dummy half. As G tries to race out to make the tackle, but Tangata and Fairbank there. Wilder finds Wardle, and Wardle will just trundle that ball up. Put down by G and Jufre. No doubt we'll see some of the world's slowest play the balls in this next set. Wilder works the blind side onto Taylor and Taylor takes a tackle of Tibbs and Jufre who once more will try and get him up as quick as possible. Wilder finds Craven, Craven finds Kotchak from Page onto the ball. The X Facts low knees are a great game. Wilder goes blind again onto Wardle and Wardle will just take his tackle five metres from the high fast line. Last tackle here for Oldham. Slow play the ball again, and Wilder will just try and pinch one from dummy half. But it doesn't matter if he hasn't scored, he'll be held up. 
and Halifax still have more chances well Halifax will try and force her arm here McComb stepping all through the defensive line and Oldham will just close the door through Taylor and Wildy Inman huge pass to Keys and Keys further on to Eden Eden will he get a length of the field especially goes through the gap Eden onto Crooks and Crooks back on the inside to the Oldham man Halifax just had to chance their arm once more and Oldham get the ball back and maybe that is the chance and that is it as Oldham record a famous victory in the first round of this 1895 Cup the League One side beat to the Championship side and the whole to the 1895 Cup with a well deserved victory here despite tries from two tries from Greg Eden one from Woodburn Hall and Ben Tibbs with two tries from Drew Frey Halifax Panthers come just short in Liam Finn's first competitive game for the club and Halifax go to Rochdale next week maybe knowing that their 1895 Cup adventure did their defence is over final score here at Boundary Park after a thrilling afternoon here Oldham 24 Halifax Panthers 20